yet, but that is not tampering their excitement for our new president. Fox 5's Ann Craig is talking to students at William Annan Middle School in Basking Ridge, New Jersey, joining us live now. Good morning, Ann. Good to see you. Good morning, Reed. Talk about how excited these students are. School doesn't even start until 745, and here they are at this early in the morning. Are you guys excited for this historic day? Yeah. Yeah. Emily, what makes this day so significant to you? I think it's amazing that we have our first African-American president who's about to go into the White House. He's such a great guy, and I think it's such a right, good step in the right direction. Now, they say that you guys are going to remember this very moment. In fact, everyone will, will remember where they were when they saw Barack Obama take the oath of office today. Why is this so significant for you? I mean, you think about it, and in the 1800s, there was slavery. Blacks had no rights at all. And then you think in the 1900s, segregation in schools, buses, etc. But now our country that is predominantly white, we have an African American leading our country, and it's just so special. And of course, one topic that really gets the students going: what kind of dog will end up in the White House? And Adam here has a Labradoodle. Is that your vote? Yeah, probably. Why should the first family go with a Labradoodle? It's a great dog. <laughs> it's a great dog. It's a great day. These students are very excited for what's yet to come this afternoon. And Reed, we're tossing it. Back, did you want the honor of saying back to you, Reed? Back to you, Reed. All right, there you go, Reed. Thank you very much, future reporter. All right, well, Vice President Dick Cheney pulled the muscle in his back while moving boxes and will be in a wheelchair for today's inauguration ceremony. White House Press Secretary Dana Perino says Cheney was helping to move into his new home outside of Washington when he hurt his back. His doctor recommended that he use a wheelchair for the next couple of days. Perino says that Cheney is otherwise doing okay.